<laughs> Hello, America. This is Eddie Marcus again. It's a bedtime now. It's gone on 12 o'clock. I've gotten a chance to do three or four videos for you today. And it seems as if I couldn't get to bed because I heard something that I thought needed to be addressed. And here I am with a bit of information for you coming live from station WEBM. That's wonderful, Lady B. Marcus, operating smack down from the top of the sky, the spiritual realm down to wherever you are. And I hope this message go through you and around you and about you and serve you as the blood of your veins. And when you have digested this information, you will become better for it. <clears throat> I was thinking that this message should go to other ethnicities, not black or white. <clears throat> but Hispanics, Africans, and other people of this nation who have been naturalized or who were born here, or who are just citizens for whatever reason, I want you to consider my candidacy for the United States Senate from the state of Minnesota and at the same time for the presidency of the United States in 2020. You know, I am the best man for this position if you, the people, are deserving. I can only give you that service, that benefit, if you are deserving. If you are not deserving, I cannot give it to you. In fact, if you're not deserving, I won't even get in office. But what I really want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, we have had a year and a half of Donald Trump, of one of the most ridiculous campaigns, one of the most ridiculous uh, White House that we've ever had, that we've ever known of in our lifetime. This is almost as worse as the one that killed Kennedy. And so, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm saying to you is that after Donald Trump, we don't need another Republican or another Democrat. We don't need anybody trying to ride on that bandwagon. Trump has totally destroyed America as we know America to be. That being the case, no need to try and bandage it up. No need to try and to, uh, see what we can do to preserve it and keep it going. And so I propose to you, the American people, and for those of you who are from Cuba, or those from you who are Puerto Rico, those of you who are housed down in Miami, who know what's been going on, and you know you can't trust what you thought you could trust in. So I'm offering to you a new, a brand new system, a new society, a society not bound on anything that Trump was about, but is built up on even more than what America stood for before. We want to make this a society where everybody in America can feel like they are special. Blacks, whites, Africans, women, gay, straight, everybody. And I have a proposal for that. I'm not just talking to you about an idea. I'm talking to you about a plan. A plan that you play a major role in. The creation of a new society in America. One that Donald Trump opened a door for when he came in and corrupted America. Made it look like it's the ugliest thing. And there's no way we can recover from that. What Donald Trump has done to America, we will never be able to recover. But we can create something new, totally brand new, better than America has ever been, that makes human rights seem like, oh, here they come again, I'm loving them. Make civil rights seem like, oh, here they come again, I love them. Make the nations that have been suffering for so long and who have depended on America can say, oh, maybe they're not back again. They are much better. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I want to leave that with you. A brand new society. A brand new society for the future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.